Hey Pisces, welcome to um, your weekly love connections reading, WLC. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by and thank you so much for all your support. Um, if you need information about my personal readings, everything else about this channel, check out the description box below. Or you can go and visit my website, nomadsoulwarrior.com for more details. And... Um, if you want information about the tarot decks that I'm using, you can follow me on Instagram, message me there. I do have some messages or videos, you know, to videos of the deck reviews and deck um, flip throughs, yeah, as well as the maker as well. So, yeah, that's about it. And um, Pisces, let's get on with your reading. What do we have for you in love? What do we have for Pisces in love around this time? Pisces. Tell us more about Pisces in love, please. Tell us more about Pisces in love, please. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love. There you are. King of Cups, the King of Wands, wow, the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Coins, the Emperor, wow, A very strong energies on your table, Pisces, the Five of Swords. The Knight of Wands, the Chariot, and the Page of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, <laughs> beautiful magician. Um, I must say, Pisces, a lot is being asked here. A lot? A lot is being asked of you. When I say a lot, it doesn't mean it's really very hard, but it's it's a grand, there needs to be some form of um, looking at things from a wider perspective, looking at things from, from the confidence side of you. And why do I say that? Because I see the King of Wands, I see Emperor, I see King of Cups, Magician. It's all chariot. It's all having that confidence. It's all being secure in yourself in order to manifest new things, in order to manifest what your heart desire is. Yeah. So there needs to be that strong um, stance from you. Yeah. Before making any move at all. Because I see in this connection, you are, from the get-go, you are feeling defeated here. This could be a connection where um, you've loved someone, you are, you are in a relate, you were in a relationship, or you had something in common, some intimate moments, some relationship, or even marriage for some of you. But at the end of it, it did not pan out the way you wanted things to be. Yeah. And you're feeling down low. And that's why I said it's a lot is being it's a tall order, basically, but it's a good one. You know, take on the challenge from feeling defeated. You are being asked here to have that confidence, uh, confidence stance to deal with the situation. If you want to get your heart desire, the way I see it here is you may be ruminating about the things that has happened in the past, the good things what it was back then and um, you keep on thinking about what you have already put in you kept you keep on thinking about what the other person has already done for you in the past and you reminisce about the good time shared which is good yeah but it feels like as of the moment you also don't know what to do yeah from the good part in the past 
towards now. So for now, you are just stuck. You are not um, you are not getting into some form of concrete um, steps right now. Or this could be you, Pisces, thinking about how can you transform this? How can you make things happen for you? Yeah? Because you're feeling defeated. And then, like I said, there is this confident um, energy on the table for you. So if you are truly embodying this, this is you now. Um, thinking about, well, this is what I had in the past with this person. This is where I am at right now. How do I go about taking on my wand and manifesting what I want? So this is you now really wanting to take action to get what you want. This is you now manifesting or seeing things from different angles and really planning, planning. It doesn't have to be that you are actually making the moves right now, but in fact, you are writing up the blueprint in your mind and you're ready to um, execute it at the right time or when the right time comes for you. Because the king knows when is the right time would be, right? When things are prepared, when things are ready. So I see that you are manifesting something here and you are on the move with that kingly, no? kingly attitude. It's pretty strong, actually. It's pretty strong. In terms of your emotions, I do see that... Um, You may have to deal with the coldness of this person in the past. You may have been dealing with someone who could be a little bit controlling Pisces. Controlling in terms of how they express their feelings towards you. They may or may not have expressed it to you. They may be um, headstrong as well. And you had to deal with that. With them, um, compassion. Yeah? You had so much love for this person, but you may have just, um, you know, tried to find stability within you to deal with that as well. Not to show off or not to get this person to see how emotionally imbalanced you are at some point. I do see that you are really trying to get into a state of emotional balance. And this is what you want to show to your person that you are that. Mm -hmm. That you are that that you are that balanced type of person, spiritually, emotionally, physically. With regards to the person that you're dealing with, Pisces, um, this is someone who is keeping tabs on you. They check on you. You may or may not know it. They still check on you. And... But at the same time, I feel that there is a bit of insecurity or lack of confidence. If you are, you know, if you are in a position right now or you are being called to be more confident in dealing with this, it's likely because you are dealing with someone who isn't. Yeah. And if you're both insecure, if you're both not really um, confident in what you want, in getting what you want, you will not get anything. Both of you will not get anything. I see that your person is um, hasn't left, honestly. And they haven't left. And it's more like they know you. This is someone who knows you, who knows... Um, how you react to things. This is someone who knows exactly how you do things, yeah? Or may have experienced, you know, your compassion, that compassionate side of you, your caring attitude. They have experienced that. And somehow they are also thinking about that. They are missing that part. But I feel that as of the moment, they are keeping their distance. They are not doing anything towards you. But they are keeping tabs on you. A part of this person is wanting to to um, make a move towards you, but I feel that something is bothering this person. Something is probably stopping this person to do such actions, yeah, or to make an approach, to make an advance towards you. 
something here. I see it could be insecurity. It could be that your person knows that life with you would be great, would be good. But at the same time, there's a bit of um, hesitation on their part. If they could truly be good enough for you. That's why I, I see um, insecurity or something like that. But at the same time, I see that um, at this point in time, if truly you come in with that kingly attitude of the leadership quality of, of this in this situation, and you're, you're able to get this person to understand that view, I feel that they are ready to really have a new face here. It's just that they may not know whether they are good enough for you. That's what I see. Or at least in this time frame, this is a person who is not pretty confident that they can work things out with you. But deep inside, they want to move forward here. They want to move forward. They even want to move uh, forward in terms of putting in a little bit of flirtiness in the situation or a little heart, a lightheartedness. Especially if you're dealing with so kingly heavy, it's good, it's grounded, it's precise and strong to have all this kind of quality, but you know, attraction starts light and easy. And I feel that your person is needing that. It's just that they don't know how to go about that. Especially if this person has been through a lot in this situation, in this connection with you, or even just in their life that has caused them to feel insecure, that has caused them to feel the lack of confidence in making things happen for themselves even. But towards this connection, they want to move things forward as quickly as possible. If it is, if they can only, you know, say something here, it's that. I want to move this forward, but saying it needs action and commitment, yeah? to execute it in the long run. Wanting, yes, they want to move things forward with you. And they also want to see a little bit of the passionate side of the Pisces here to ease things up. Maybe things have become a little bit rigid here for both of you. And it's pretty hard for this person to make an entrance, yeah, or to make a comeback because things has, has been very tensed that could also be it too. But I see that you will get a message from this person or at least a reach out. And this little um, reach out from them is a start. It's just a start of them starting a little bit of grounding, communication. If you are doing similar projects, if you're in the same community, you would see that this person would reach out little by little. It's not that kingly attitude. But more so, this is them letting you know that, hey, I still exist. Hey, I'm still on it. <laughs> it's just that um, there's lack of uh, strength, at least from this person right now, to make things happen with you. But attraction, yes. I feel that they would come to you whenever things are easy, things are light. This person would be, you know, if you are in a gathering and um, you're there, they're there. You could still communicate with this person in a very fun way. But they are not in a position right now to be really um, ready for some serious talk. But you are. So with that kingly attitude, a king should also know how to calibrate. Yeah, how to calibrate. If this is something that you want, you know. Let's see. But I do see that little messages here. Um, or you would see some effort from this person. Could be reach out, a message, um, or um, offer you some help. Yeah, This could be their little own way of starting the... The... the um, starting up with their goal in working things out with you. 
like I said, they may feel like they don't have enough to offer, they're not good enough and all that. So they will start small. They will start small. Okay, and um, tell me more about this connection, please, for Pisces. Convince yourself, not others. The need to clarify, explain, or justify oneself in personal relationships is always self-serving. What's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need because it, it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways. All right? So that message actually is for this connection. So insecurities here could be dealt with in more effective ways. So I feel that if this person has wronged you in the past, in the back of their mind, they may feel that they need to explain to you and they don't have good explanation to say. And therefore, they are stuck in that situation of thinking, I'm not good enough for Pisces, you know. But the message here is, you know, just be open, convince yourself and not others. What, what has happened in the past is in the past. And um, what else can you do now to, to move things effectively? You can send this reading to your person, Pisces. <laughs> but again, this is general reading, so you can be um, in any size here, yeah? You choose your side passion so what this connection needs is passion what this connection needs is initiation of that spark don't get too serious too tense too rigid <laughs> put in some fire have some fireworks love song it could be somebody here is um, starting some lyrics writing or sending a note to you sending a song to you good music to your ears yeah twin flames for some of you this could be your twin flames if you believe in that um, labeling let's get you three more cards what else do we need to know about this connection it's lasting love wow beautiful secrets somebody is keeping secret of their feelings here as well a secret of still wanting it but not able to manifest you've got the message here no I'll clarify that one more what does it mean it could be about that insecurity if that person is feeling as though they cannot make this happen the answer is no I don't see that as a negative um, message together with the rest here ecstasy indeed <laughs> okay so if someone here is feeling insecure the answer is there's no reason to be insecure in fact start up some fires start up some lightheartedness here yeah <laughs> okay i'm gonna leave it at that pisces and i hope this gives you insights and um let me know in the comment section below how this resonates. If it doesn't, check out your other placements and um, watch the other signs that I'm releasing today. Those could also be helpful. And um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on that notification bell. All right. And if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.